Oh, there you are, Your Excellency. The Enlightened has heard my prayers. What's going on? Where are the others? After deciphering the content of the tablets, they went north to continue their research in some swamps. Oh, but they must have encountered problems. Brother Fidelis came back here, and he was in a dreadful state. He most likely came to seek help, but he fainted. It's impossible for us to know what happened to them. I am not a doctor, but I may be able to examine him. Oh, please do. Any help would be appreciated. We've done our best, but our magic has proved inefficient. And the healer we sent for will certainly arrive too late from San Mateus. This man is burning up with fever, and he bears several bite marks and traces of blows. The flesh is swollen around the bites. Perhaps the creature that bit him was venomous. Have you tried giving him any antipoison? Of course, but to no avail. And what if it were a hex cast by the heretics? <sighs> no matter what happens, you always suspect them. Why, of course, the savages are always to blame. The man was in the swamp. There are some rare animals there, and their venom is terrible. A healer from the area will know the antidote. We could ask Lair. He will direct us to someone who understands remedies. Onol Manawi, you've come back to see old Lair. I heard that you managed to retrieve the tablets. Did Vindwal tell you? Yes, and I feel more at peace, knowing that our brothers are alive, and that they will be able to join another clan. And you proved me right. Peace with the Renaixe is possible. I need your advice. You may already know that one of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. I heard about it. He has all the symptoms of a poisoning, but the antipoisons we gave him had no effect. He must have been bitten by a creature of the swamp, and we're looking for a healer who would know of a suitable antidote. So, you came to see me. Interesting. Our neighbors did not think for one moment that we could be helpful. Alas, Ardonegad is one of the exoils. But Vindwal knows plants well. She will know. Thank you. I will go see her. I hope she agrees to help us. I have to go. Like so many others. again. What do you want? I have come to ask for your help. Lair told me you know about remedies. I do know a few of them. I have learned about plants. I used to want to become a Donegad. One of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. Apparently he was bitten by a creature of the swamp. And now he has the Lawolan fever. We have a good knowledge about this affliction. He will die if he does not receive proper treatment. Do you know which antidote should be given to him? Yes. These priests are idiots. They could have asked for our help, but they treat us like children. You, 
You are different. And you have allowed my son to join a new clan. So, I will give you the potion to cure the priest. Wait a moment. Make him drink this remedy and he'll get better. Thank you, Ventual. in Eden. You were safe. I... Well, was I unconscious for a long time? The, the other members of the expedition, they are in danger. The swamp is so hostile. We weren't prepared for it. S some of our people have disappeared. What caused these wounds? A nightmarish creature. The swamp is full of them. A colleague and I had left to fetch some help when we were attacked. I managed to run away, but I don't know what happened to him. As for those who were at the camp, you must go help them. Show me the location of your colleagues on the map. I will join them. There. Please, hurry. Thank you. You should rest now. I do not remember there being a path in this place the last time we came. The researchers must have cleared this passage. If we follow it, we should find it. suggested by the tablets. Hey, what's happening here? I could hear you from miles away. Your Excellency, I'm so happy to see you. You arrive right on time to settle this matter. How did you manage to find us in the middle of this swamp? Brother Fidelis managed to reach Eden. He's the one who told us where your camp was. But he didn't leave alone. What happened to Father Orbricus, who was accompanying him? He must be dead, like our other companions. This is all your fault. This is yet more proof that you are not fit to lead such a team. I should be the one in charge. Maybe you should calm down and explain to me what's happening here. This expedition was undertaken with no concern for common sense. We are not equipped to explore this type of place. Our people are disappearing, and all we have found are some falsified writings. Brother Virgil is terrified, which probably explains why he is being so disingenuous. We have made incredible discoveries, and we could find more. You are beyond redemption. I won't waste another second talking to you. If you want to talk to me, Your Excellency, it will have to be without her. How charming. Your Excellency, I hope you will forgive us for that scene. My relations with Virgil have always been difficult. But ever since we arrived here, it has been unbearable. 
I'm afraid we may need an arbiter. Before anything else, I need to know what has led to this situation between you. What would you like to know? For what reason were you quarreling? The expedition itself, I'm afraid. Virgil was always against it, especially under my supervision. For him, our discoveries in Eden were sufficient. They confirmed what he wanted, the rest did not matter. According to him, we should never have continued. And when we found new tablets, it became even worse. Were they also written by St. Matthias? Without a doubt, the handwriting is the same. There are also some patterns, some islander symbols. It's fascinating. But what really angers Virgil is the content we managed to decipher. Our founder explains that he learned a lot from the islanders. Something our brother cannot accept. He now persists in saying that these tablets are fake, forged by the natives themselves. Brother Fidelis told me that several members of the expedition have disappeared. Yes. That's why he left, along with Father Orbricus, to fetch some help. Three more of our colleagues are missing. And I'm not even talking about the ones who fell ill. <sighs> I must admit that I underestimated the hardships we would encounter. I made a mistake. I should have prepared this expedition more thoroughly. But Virgil's being disingenuous does not help. And no one has searched for those who are missing. I wanted us to search for them, but someone later convinced me that it presented too much of a risk. Along with lack of preparation, our constantly decreasing number, and creatures swarming the area. And by someone, I suppose you mean Brother Virgil? Indeed. I'm thankful for these pieces of information. But you understand that I will also have to talk to Brother Virgil? Of course, that's understandable. You must hear us both before you can make a decision. Brother Virgil. What do you want? Can you explain to me what caused such a quarrel? The reason for it is very simple. It is Eugenia's folly. This woman should never have been the supervisor of our team. The discoveries made in Eden were sufficient, but no. She didn't want to stop the research. She organized this expedition in a hurry, without taking elementary precautions. And now she's accepting as facts the delirious writings we discovered on these tablets without doubting them for even one second. What do you mean? We found some new tablets, allegedly written by Saint Matthias, but their content is so absurd that they were obviously forged. I am certain that the natives must have found these stones before us and modified their content. How would they have done that? The natives cannot write. They must have been helped by an unscrupulous settler. How would I know? Brother Fidelis told me that some of your colleagues went missing. Do you know anything about this? They did not go missing. They were killed. There was the wild beasts, the diseases, and let's not forget the savages. We can feel their presence roaming around the camp at night. I am certain that they are responsible for the death of our colleagues. That's strange. There aren't many villages around here. There aren't any. There are a few hermits, but they are not fighters. And they have better things to do than roam around their camp at night. We've been in this region before, and the only native we met was a little insane, but would have been incapable of killing several priests. Those savages may very well have been following us since our departure. We will not be safe on this island until it is entirely converted. I see. So, you haven't tried to find your colleagues. So we can die as well. <laughs> I am not as crazy as Sister Eugenia. I cannot take sides in your quarrel for now. And in any case, it is not what matters the most. Even if you think they are dead, we have to try finding your colleagues. Well, if you are prepared to take such a risk, I can only commend you for your bravery and wish you luck. But I would not get my hopes up. You should start by searching the excavation site. To get there, take the path south of here. But be careful. 
The creatures that roam the area are ruthless. This man's skull is sunken, but he doesn't look like he was in a fight. Could he have fallen? No. Look, it may be what someone wanted it to look like, but his wound was inflicted with a weapon. He was struck in the back of the head, from behind, with a mace made of metal, not stone. Thank you. 
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! This poor soul was almost entirely devoured. He must have been killed by swamp animals. Even so, this wound looks different from the others. It looks like a knife wound. You're right. He was stabbed before being fed to the animals. But anyone could have used such a blade. Poison on my blade. And let's go! These fang marks were impressive. The poor man didn't have a chance. He must have been attacked by a large reptile. Most likely a Lawolan. But what was he doing alone, so far from the camp? It seems obvious now that these disappearances were orchestrated. The deaths of these people were a deception. Only the Renaigse are deceitful enough to do such a thing. They kill each other and accuse my people. This virgin, he wants to push aside this woman at all cost. He must be the culprit. Indeed. I think that we should go find this brother and ask for an explanation. Brother Virgil. Your Excellency, weren't you supposed to be looking for our colleagues? Indeed. I regret to say that they are indeed all dead. I knew it. What a waste. Eugenia and her recklessness are to blame for this. I'm afraid someone else is responsible for this. These deaths are not accidental, and yet they were disguised as such. The savages? Their thirst for blood is unquenchable. I knew we should never have come without an escort. Watch your tongue, priest. Our people have no need to hide when they protect their land. Only the Renaigse are deceitful enough to disguise a death. Who else could it be? Someone who desperately wanted this expedition to fail. Does that remind you of anyone? Fine. You unmasked me. But know that my cause is righteous. The Ordo Luminous sent me to keep an eye on this expedition. 
to ensure that the discoveries we made would not jeopardize our nation or our presence on this island. But the inscriptions on the tablets are a heresy, a dangerous manipulation. Can you imagine what would happen if it was said that our founder listened to the teachings of the natives? But even then, foolish Eugenia accepted these discoveries as truth without any hesitation, without realizing that our entire nation could suffer because of it. So yes, I wanted to scare her. I understand that you might want to protect your nation, but to go as far as assassinating several of your colleagues. Come now. What would you do if someone were threatening the congregation? You cannot make me believe that you would not be willing to kill. You may have already done so, but since you want to avoid using violence, help me convince Eugenia to go back to Eden. My colleagues and I know how to sort through these discoveries. And you will be rewarded, of course. This Renaise tried to blame my people for these crimes. The priests would have wanted to punish them, and innocent people would have died. He must answer for his treachery. It seems to me that all members of this expedition are concerned. They should decide on what to do next. Everybody listen. Alas, I must inform you that I found the dead bodies of your missing colleagues. Oh, how awful. What happened to them? Someone wanted us to believe that they were killed by some swamp animals. But it was all staged. Your colleagues were murdered, and their bodies abandoned to the creatures. What? But why do such a thing? And who murdered them? Brother Virgil confessed to his crimes in front of me. Monster! You will pay for these crimes. These people you killed were our brothers, our friends. You stupid goose. You really believe that I will let you pass judgment on me? You shouldn't have been so quick to accept these lies that could destroy our nation and want to reveal them for all to hear. You are solely responsible for these deaths. How dare you present yourself as the protector of our nation? Murderer! Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> See if you can ward off this face! I'm sorry, sister. Brother Virgil fled during the battle. Oh, the coward. And naturally, his accomplices fled along with him. Oh, what a waste. So many people died. Perhaps I shouldn't have revealed his crimes in front of everyone, but I thought it was the best way of ensuring he would be judged. Considering how high tensions have been these last few days, a fight was inevitable, alas. But you did what you thought was fair. Here. Take this, as a token of gratitude for shedding light on these dismal events. Alas, we will have to go back to Eden as well. There are too few of us to continue the research. Were you hoping to discover more? Of course. This place was but a single step in St. Matthias's journey. The last tablets speak of a journey northbound, further up in the swamp. But even if Virgil is no longer a threat, we are not sufficiently well equipped to go there. We could go there for you if you wish. You just have to tell us where to look. That would be marvelous. Of course, you would have to start from the excavation site where he wrote this. I think I noticed a path going north when I was there, actually. Look for any traces of life. 
Perhaps you will be lucky enough to find more of his writings. That would be fantastic. Don't worry. I will conduct this research and come find you here if I uncover anything.